McDonald's, meantime, new CEO is planning to make major changes after a Wall Street Journal reported uh, on a party-like culture at the fast food giant. Kate Rogers has more on that. Kate. Hey, Morgan. Well, Chris Kempchinski was brought into the company by former CEO Steve Easterbrook and is now really looking to put a stamp on things, moving toward a more professional culture at the company. He's been talking with key stakeholders and franchisees in his new role. Kempchinski sent out a memo to employees today that was obtained by CNBC saying that McDonald's creates opportunity, builds community, collaborates on solutions, adding that, quote, all of this is underpinned by our core values, which are the bedrock of our company. We must now champion and apply them more evenly across the three-legged stool to be even stronger. The memo follows that Wall Street Journal report that said that Easterbrook tolerated and participated in late-night socializing that included managers and rank-and-file employees, and that he and former chief HR officer David Fairhurst, Fairhurst rather, would party with workers, adding that Easterbrook was known for even flirting with some of the company's female employees. Kemchinski has been at the helm of McDonald's for just about two months now after Easterbrook was fired for a consensual relationship with an employee that was back in November. The company is looking to bring in a new chief HR officer as well. Fairhurst departed the company right after Easterbrook was fired. Back over to you guys. Kate, I, I guess there's some specific examples there, and we know the ultimate specific example that uh, cost uh, Mr. Easterbrook his job, and, and I don't think anyone disagrees with that. There is a, a more broad point here that uh, should a manager be uh, disencouraged from uh, socializing or just having a drink after work with uh, more junior employees, you could even argue that that would be something that should be encouraged because it, it kind of foster a nice work, uh, workplace uh, environment. Yeah, certainly. And I mean, that is all up to the company to determine that. Obviously, Easterbrook's relationship had violated the company policy, which basically says no inter-office relationships. He's the CEO. Technically, everyone does work for him. It's interesting. Uh, Chris Kempchinski did have a town hall with employees back in November, and he basically said, you know, all of my senior leadership has to really embody the values of the company, and I'm looking around the company to make sure that we're all basically on the same page here. So it does look like, in terms of his role as CEO, he's looking to take things in a different direction than his predecessor had. So we'll have to see what happens.